welcome friends i will teach probability method in pd course uh, in this semester uh, in this course we are going to discuss certain issues uh, like how to solve a given deterministic partial differential equations or uh, i mean using some probabilistic method this course is uh, very useful for both applied mathematics or pure mathematics graduate students so here we are going to assume that students has sufficient background in pure mathematics for example students who have already done msc in pure mathematics with a special specialization in analysis or specialization in probability should be able to follow this course these techniques are not only you know confined uh, to the community who do pure mathematics research but also useful for the community who use applied mathematics for example who uh, the research students or researchers who uh, are interested in uh, mathematical finance or mathematical physics etc they also use probabilistic uh, techniques to solve partial differential equations uh, for this course i would uh, refer to mainly two different books the book by karajashan shriv and another book by a pazi so far uh, differential equations are concerned those are deterministic in nature for example you consider heat equation that the uh, solution of that equation gives the temperature profile over various different times starting from some initial time zero and that solution one has to find out by solving the differential equation okay however uh, in this course we are going to see that one can write down the solution in terms of a conditional expectation of a function of brownian motion okay this conditional expectation one can find in many different ways one computational way is that one can simulate brownian motion and evaluate the final time of that uh, of the given function f and then take average of that so that average uh, is taken using finally many samples but as sample size goes large and become uh, goes to infinity that approximation of the solution converges to the solution itself we are going to consider abstract cauchy problem and then we would see that okay uh, the kind of theory we are going to develop through uh, until the mid of the course uh, can be generalized in more uh, broader uh, settings 